Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a huge collective try on haul. I've been doing a lot of shopping for somebody who said that they weren't doing any shopping. So I decided I want to show you guys everything that I bought recently. I got some high end stuff, some low end stuff, some workout gear, some athleisure, casual wear. I've been shopping, shopping, shopping. So if you want to see all of the stuff that I bought recently, all the money that I spent that I probably don't need to be spending, then make sure that you stay tuned. This video will have tabs in it, so it'll have chapters. So if you're specifically interested in athletic wear, you can skip to the athletic wear part. Same for the accessories, same for the casual wear. Just FYI. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump right in because I had a lot of stuff to show y'all, like over 20 items. So let's get started first and foremost let's start with the accessories so the first thing that i wanted to show you guys are these earrings it's a pack of silver earrings that i got from amazon obviously everything will be linked in the description below this pack of earrings came with let me see one two three six different pairs of silver earrings Obviously, this is just costume jewelry because it's from Amazon. And I think this pack was like maybe $14 for six pair of earrings. They have the small version of the little Bottega dupes, which are also similar to the ones that I'm wearing right now. These are also from Etsy and I'll link to those below as well. So these are very cute. I've worn probably about half of the earrings. I realized that I really didn't wear earrings for whatever reason. And it wasn't intentional. So I decided to buy myself some earrings. I wanted to just start with some costume jewelry, not spend too much money. So I started with these. These are really good. None of them have started to fade yet. They hold up. They go with the outfits. None of them are turning green. None of them have turned my skin green. So if you're looking for some like trendy little silver earrings, nothing too big, nothing too extravagant, I would highly recommend these. And then I would also recommend these. So these that I have on right now are the Bottega dupe earrings. And I'm obviously going to insert a close-up of the earrings. I think I paid like $20 for these from a individual seller on Etsy. I can't remember the name of the seller, but I will link her below. But these are so cute. I heard the Bottegas are like $1,200. I obviously am not doing that for some costume jewelry. If I'm spending $1,200 or more, it's going to be on some real jewelry, no shade. So next up is my silver or metallic snake print Caperni bag. I recently bought this. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear it once. I've only worn it once. I have been wanting a metallic Caperni bag actually for a while now, but I had never pulled the trigger on it for whatever reason. And then one day, lo and behold, I was looking for a silver bag to go with my silver Dolce & Gabbana pumps, which I'm going to show you guys next. And I happened to come across this on Shopbop. Now, prior to buying this on Shopbop, I actually had not shopped on Shopbop since in years like since i was an undergrad but i still have my shop op account apparently but if you have an amex then you know that they have like the rewards deals so it was like if you spend at least 250 dollars on shop up then you get a 50 dollar statement credit so this was over 250 but it was significantly marked down i can't remember what exactly the markdown was i know i put the exact numbers on my tiktok so according to my tiktok i got this caperni bag for 62 percent off the original retail price the bag was i didn't put in on my tiktok how much the bag was originally but i got 40 percent off because it was discounted on shop Bop already for 40 percent off and then Shopbop had an additional sale for an, an additional 25% off items that were already marked down. And then I bought it with my Amex and got a $50 statement credit. So I think I ended up paying like three something for this. It was definitely less than $400. I believe the bag originally retails for around $650. Don't quote me on that, but I'll try to include the information in the description box. Now... For the star of today's show, in my opinion. So I got the metallic Dolce & Gabbana stilettos. 
Again, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've worn these already. These are not brand new. Well, I've only worn them once, so they're basically brand new. So these shoes are to die for. And I will say I was influenced to purchase these. I do follow Aaliyah Space. I had noticed her wearing them a few times and I really liked the way they look and the way that she put them together. So I was influenced to buy. I mean, I was already looking for a pair of metallic heels and I hadn't really found the right pair yet. But then when I saw these on her channel, I was like, yeah, I need these. These... These are fire. I can't wait to wear these more in the summer. I feel like the first outfit that I wore with these, I liked the outfit, but I wasn't really in love with the outfit. So I definitely can't wait to wear these again. Okay, so that's it for the shoes and the accessories. So now I'm gonna make my way into clothes, which is the majority of everything that I'm going to be showing you guys in the collective haul today. I'm gonna start with athletic wear. So the first athletic wear outfit that I wanted to show you guys is this two-piece set that i got from target i ordered this online at target i don't know if they sell this particular set in store this color is like a slate gray i guess first of all i love this color this color is a beautiful color and i also really like the material so the material is very stretchy the top is also very stretchy so, so the cups in here are removable this does remind me of something that you might see in like a uh, lululemon or athletica so it gives the impression that it's a little more high-end which i think target is really good for target executes really well with that the next piece of athletic wear that i got is these high-waisted leggings in the color black from old navy I have seen online on TikTok a lot of people saying that Old Navy's athletic wear was a good dupe for Lululemon in terms of quality. So I wanted to check it out myself. Generally, Old Navy is okay in my book. I don't really shop there that much, but occasionally you can find cute basics from Old Navy. So these are the leggings. They are very stretchy. They're high-waisted. They're full length. I personally am not a big fan of like the three-quarter length leggings. I like my leggings to come all the way down my leg. So I do like that about these. I'm telling y'all right now. Let me just, right now, spring, summer 2023 is going to be very much an athletic wear season for me. So the next thing on the athletic wear list is this jumpsuit. This is a full-length jumpsuit from Old Navy's athletic wear line as well. So I believe this jumpsuit is supposed to be a good dupe for an Aritzia jumpsuit. I'm not sure because I don't own the Aritzia jumpsuit, but I think Aritzia has two really popular jumpsuits or one jumpsuit that comes in two iterations, one with the flare leg and one with the straight leg. This one is straight leg. It's made out of their go dry fabric. I like that this one has like the internal bra just to offer a little bit of extra support. The next item on my athletic wear list is actually this full length zip up from Primark. I got this from Primark out in Long Island. I realized that there's not a Primark everywhere, but if you have a Primark near you or within driving distance to you, I highly recommend that you check out Primark. This jacket was like $16. And this, I would consider this to be very comparable to the lululemon full length zip up with the caveat that i don't own the lululemon version so i can't really speak to the quality of that one but the quality of this one is very good double lined it has pockets it has the long sleeves with the little finger holes i got this in a size small and i really should have got this in an extra small i showed a video on my tiktok of me trying this on and recommending it as a lululemon dupe on my tiktok as well so if you're interested you can check that out the final item in my athletic wear piece or the athletic wear kind of chapter of this try on haul is this black high neck full length bodysuit that my sister gave me so my sister is on my amazon account she uses my amazon account to order stuff and i think she accidentally ordered two of these she gave me this one i guess i would consider this technically to be casual wear but the reason that I include it in the athletic wear piece is because the material here. So this is kind of like a dry fit material and it's very stretchy like athletic wear. Also, because it is a size medium, it's a little bit big for me. So I probably wouldn't actually wear this out except maybe to run errands. I would probably actually just wear this to work out. The quality is pretty good on this one. I just wish it was my size, but I'm obviously not gonna 
waste a free gift, a free outfit. So I will be wearing this to the gym. The next chapter in the video is just going to be a bunch of casual wear. So what I would consider casual wear is stuff that I would wear out casually, but also stuff that can be dressed up and worn out to like date night and stuff like that. First up is Pretty Little Thing. First is this denim mini skirt. So the denim mini skirt is supposed to have like two, it's supposed to be like two denim mini skirts sewn together. So the one up top is supposed to be a dark wash and then the one on the bottom is supposed to be a light wash. I think the quality of this denim is pretty good for what it is, for what it costs. It wasn't super expensive. So what I did is I ended up ordering this in a size six and also ordered it in a size eight. And I ended up sending the size eight back. Thankfully this one fit, but I will say it was kind of a tight fit. Overall, I thought this was really cute. It was worth the money. Would I wear it again? I don't know, TBD. The next thing that I got from Pretty Little Thing, I actually had ordered a long time ago. I ordered this sometime last year and I just still haven't worn it. A crinkle ruched detail dress. I'll link to this if it's still available. This says size eight, but I'm not sure if this is a US size eight. No, this is a US size four, UK size eight. I was about to say, I was like, I know I ain't ordered no size eight in this dress. The dress is very stretchy, so a size four worked well for me. It does have the ruched detail on the side. I actually bought this before I went to Tulum in October, so my intention was to wear this when I went out there, but I just never ended up wearing it. And I do like that they have the detail where you can tie the sleeves at the bottom right before the hem splits. The color is cute. I thought this was cute on me. Nothing too crazy for the price and what I pay for it, I think this is a cute item that I'll just keep in my closet. That's everything that I've gotten recently from Pretty Little Thing. I also got one thing from Boohoo. This is a knit ruched detail mini dress, or I guess a mini midi dress, because I think you can untie this where it's tied on the side and you can make the length of the dress shorter or longer. The hem is also rounded out, so it's not a straight hem dress. I thought that was a really cute detail. And the neckline on this is kind of high. I got this in a size, a UK size eight, which is a US size four. This is a really, really cute color. And I think it's gonna go well with my complexion. I will be wearing this when it starts to get warm or on my next vacation, which hopefully will be soon. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cute. It's super, super stretchy. It's almost stretchy to the point that I'm worried that if it stretches, it won't like go back. I feel like just looking at it, it looks more expensive than what it is. So I do love that. The next couple of items in the haul are from ASOS. I love ASOS. I have ASOS Premier, which means that anything that I order from ASOS, I get automatic like one day shipping or two day shipping. And I think that's like $25 for the whole year. So if you don't have ASOS Premier, I highly recommend that. No, this is not sponsored. That's just my honest opinion. These ASOS Design Chinos, these are full length chinos. They are pretty long, which is why I had cuffed them when I tried them on. They are a little bit wrinkled here, obviously, because I already tried them on. They are intended to be oversized and have an oversized fit, and I really love that. I feel like the oversized pants or like pants that have more like a masculine type fit are in right now, so I can't wait to wear these. I think these are super cute. The only reason I haven't worn them yet is because I don't feel like I have the perfect shoes to go with them yet, so I need to find them. But I feel like a good pointed toe heel with these, like it's gonna eat. I can't wait. What I did actually, because it's oversized, it's a little big in the waist, so you have a couple of options here. You could actually fold the pants and wear them like that, or you could push them down and do like low rise. These are pants that I feel like you can wear a lot of different ways it just depends on what you're going for so i could easily see myself wearing these like casually with a pair of sneakers or the way that i'll probably wear them at least initially is dressed up with a pair of heels so the next thing that i got from asos is this white ribbed lace-up shirt so it has the lace-up details all along the front the lace-up is kind of adjustable so you can make the lace as open or closed as you want it to be. And I love these kinds of shirts as we go into spring because like, you can show a little more cleavage if you want to or like tighten it up, you can make it crop. This is very stretchy. 
the material here is very stretchy and it is kind of thick i wouldn't say that it's double lined but it is on the thicker side but this is actually one of my favorite things in the haul because it's just really simple i love me a little simple piece that i know that i'm gonna wear over and over again all right so the next brand in the haul is mango mango had a big sale a couple of months ago back in january so i bought a few things from there this cardigan is to die for i love this cardigan like cardigan was originally 99.99 or a hundred dollars basically i got it on sale at the mango store in soho for 45.99 so about 54 percent off i don't know if y'all can really see the texture and the quality of this sweater this is fire like tell me this is not fire i don't know if y'all really are picking up what i'm putting down but this cardigan is just so like good i don't know y'all just gonna have to see it when i wear it like it's so good so the next thing that I got from Mango is this strapless mini dress. This is kind of like, I guess, an eggshell color or maybe like an off-white. I got this in a U.S. size 6, which is like a European size medium. So this dress, first of all, is really cute. I love this dress. This dress is to die for. I have worn it once already. If you follow me on Instagram, I might have posted it on my story, but I didn't post it on my feed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post the picture on my feed because I feel like this dress is really cute and I need to wear it again to really properly execute. But because I was in a rush when I wore it last time, I didn't take it to get tailored. And I was kind of going back and forth about whether I should get it tailored anyway because it was pretty inexpensive and sometimes I don't be wanting to spend the money to get stuff tailored that was cheap to begin with. It was just so big to the point that it kept falling down. But I also need to get it taken in. But yeah, I got this for like $20. So, I mean, completely worth the money. So the last thing that I got from Mango is this tweed midi mini dress. I bought this dress specifically to wear to work. I did wear it to work. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I posted it on my story. But also if you follow me on TikTok, I posted a reel of the things that I purchased from Mango when I bought this. And the other things that I showed you. So... You can see where I tried that on in the store, but the quality of this is so good. This is obviously a piece that's better for more like chilly weather, like the in-between transitioning weather, because it is tweed, so it is a little bit on the thicker side. But I love this for work. If you're looking for a good casual workwear, I personally recommend Mango. I think Mango can be a bit overpriced. So what I would do is wait until stuff goes on sale. Okay, so that's it for the Mango items. Pretty much everything else in the haul is like little one-offs so i bought a bunch of stuff from different places like one item from each place so everything else from here is just going to be like little one-off items asymmetric t-shirt from good american so as you can see it has a short sleeve on this side and then a sleeveless on this side in the back it also has a cutout on the side that is sleeveless so your back is exposed here i got this from nordstrom rack i saw this online and i really love the concept of the design so i bought it i haven't worn it yet i've had it for a while don't sleep on nordstrom rack nordstrom rack be having the designer stuff at discounted prices i feel like it can be very hit or miss but don't sleep on nordstrom rack because they do be having stuff so fyi but I do like it. I'm excited to wear it. I can't wait to wear it. So the next item that I got is this sweater vest from Primark. This I got in a size extra small because I didn't want it to be too big. I think it is supposed to be oversized. So if I would have got the small, it would have been more oversized. Something that I think can be worn for work or can also be worn very casually. But I think I'm probably going to wear it to work. I have an idea in my mind of how I'm going to wear this outfit. But yeah. This is cute. I've been wanting a sweater vest, but Zara Mango be having them for like $40, $50, and it wasn't given that. So for $7, again, if you have a Primark near you, I definitely encourage you to check it out. So the next two items that I got are from my favorite store. If you know me, my favorite store is Zara. So the first item that I got from Zara is these slacks. These are a pair of full-length split hem slacks. So they are wide leg a little bit and then they split at the hem at the bottom. I got these in a size medium. 
already have an outfit in my head of how I want to wear these. I think I just need to find the perfect shoes. I got these on sale online from Zara, I think in like January. But I love this color, like this light gray color for slacks and stuff. I feel like this is a really good color to wear into the office when you head into spring where it's not as cold. I'll link to these if they're still available, but I'm gonna be honest, I bought these on sale from Zara, so I know that they're not still available. So I'll try to see if I can find something similar and link to those. Okay, the last thing that I got from Zara, I actually got a while ago, but I still haven't worn it. It's just been hanging up in my closet and it's this sheer printed bodysuit. Let me see if, I don't know if y'all can see the pattern on this, but it is completely sheer, it's completely see-through. So, you know, if this is available, I'll link to it. I did buy it a while ago. It wasn't on sale when I bought it, but I probably, I mean, I'm sure it's not available anymore. That's it, that's everything that I've got recently. Make sure that you comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was, what you liked, what you didn't like. I'm always shopping. I always love recommendations. So let me know what your favorite stores are below. And I think I want to do another try on haul soon. But instead of a collective try on haul, I'm probably going to try to do like from one store. So let me know what store I should do a haul from next. I was thinking about doing another Skims haul because they have a lot of nice new stuff that I think I want to try. But I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hate you. Hey, Greg. <laughs>